be able to read the screen. When it first powers up, it uh, goes through uh, loading the program and sending a dictionary to the speech synthesizer to pronounce words in phonetic sounds that will sound uh, proper to anybody that's listening to it. Communication. Okay. Okay. C colon backslash W T period N E C file closed. No lock. File display installed. Right and presented. Left shift to activate. File display installed. Right and presented. Left shift to activate. No news. Good news. Period. C colon backslash greater than. It repeats the message twice because it first sends it straight to the deck talk to make sure that it's on and operating. The second time it reads it, it means that the program is operating to read anything that gets displayed on the screen. Now I set up the program to anything that gets displayed on the screen also gets verbalized. So if I'm typing something in like uh, A, B, C, D, those uh, four letters, but if they're capitalized, A, B, C, D, it changes the voice to indicate whether it's capital or not. And then when you delete it, uh, it will change the voice to indicate it's deleting. D, C, B, A. And that voice is for capitals. And it changes the voice distinctly so you know what it is. D, C, B, A. And it changes the voice for lowercase to a deeper voice. The higher the pitch, the uh, indicates capitals. And uh, this program allows you to do anything uh, that you want to do to have access to a standard computer that's uh, not in graphics and the part, if I load word perfect uh, word processing program. Thirty five periodic zero left parenthesis C right parenthesis copyright nine T H I S I can shut up the program or shut up the talking by typing in some letters that'll immediately tell it to shut up and pronounce what you've hit. And uh, so I'm in word perfect mode. Space I S space space T-E-S-T. And then if you go word forward or word back in a word perfect, Test. it'll pronounce the word you're on. A is, this is a test. So whatever it's on, in, if it's hitting word forward or word back, it'll pronounce the word. If you're going just letter forward and back, E-S-T-S-E-T. -E -T. It'll pronounce that in, in letter form. Or if you're on the line, this is a test. It'll pronounce the whole line. Space, T, space. And if I put an exclamation point at exclamation the end. Exclamation point. This is a test exclamation point. It'll pronounce the exclamation point, but this screen reader program has the option. View, flag, type. The view flag, or what it is, punctuation. Punctuation. Okay. It, that means the verbalization, verbalization of punct punctuation will be shut off. So when it says the sentence. This is a test. It emphasizes the exclamation point. This is a test. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Space. I just deleted the exclamation point. Question mark. Insert a question mark. This is a test. It emphasizes it the other way with a question mark. And all this thing is set up to gear for the digital equipment deck talk voice synthesizer, which can change voices, male or female, or uh, inflex it and do anything you want to it. But this program is set up to be able to do everything proper with the voice synthesizer that the voice synthesizer can do. And uh, it also has windows in it so that you can set up. Right now it's set up for WordPerfect windows. If I want to know what line I'm on. Read window. The window for the line number is L. L, 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 2, okay. It tells me I'm on line 2. And read window. K, pause zero, okay. K is pause zero. And if I go to line one, it'll read the line number. Read, widow, L, 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 one, okay. It tells you on line one. H, I, S. If I read the column number. Read, widow, K, pause read, okay. It tells me on position three, starting with zero, though. And uh, so it can also read the screen in any mode you want to. And it has all the options to be able to read the screen from any point that you want to by just pressing the Alt-O or Control-O and then Alt-L and that goes into the screen re review mode. And that allows you to go anywhere on the screen even though the cursor in WordPerfect is on line one. You can go to... Dot one T, three, one L, and one copy. 
it just read the last line on this page. It allows you to do anything you want to outside of the program that's in operation right now. And uh, okay. it'll, it does all sorts of stuff. It'll even include read certain colors. If you set it for blue color, it'll only read anything that's blue on the screen, green on the screen, or yellow, depending on what color you send it in for. And uh, an example of that, of course, would be like H E E E T. And uh, I want to go into spell checker. Three. If I hit the uh, shift key in the space bar, one after the other, it'll pronounce the uh, what is highlighted for uh, typos or error messages. And it tells you that. And okay. Then the options are down at the bottom on line 15, which is the, uh, you can, any letter of the alpha from A, A to Y will actually pronounce that line on the screen, indicating A for 1 and O for 15 and Y for 25. And uh, you can do that while you're in the program, so it allows you to read anything you want to off the screen. Yeah. So you can make a choice of which option you want. A. Yes, we did. Okay. A. I chose A, and uh, what it does is it allows me to set up any colors or highlighting or anything, and all I do is I'm able to search up typos in WordPerfect format, or it allows me to load another file 